Well, welcome to my bench. And I know it's been a while since uh, I've made a video, and uh, this is usually where I start them. Uh, but I had a uh, total knee replacement in my right leg, and uh, they get you up uh, walking uh, the same day. And uh, I, that first week, I was a little bit of uh, uh, scooting around here and there, but uh, getting down to the shop took a while to get up and down the stairs and stuff. And uh, but anyway, it's been a few weeks now, and uh, I managed to get down there. And I did make just uh, this little measuring tool, uh, um, and so I wanted to make sure that I uh, showed making something in this video. But the main reason that I make want to make the video is uh, that the channel has gone over 4,000 subscribers. And I wanted to thank you all for uh, subscribing, and uh, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciate that. I know I don't mention subscribing and I don't mention hitting likes and stuff like that, but it is important. It, it keeps me going, again, and I enjoy the comments that people people make. And uh, uh, so I just wanted you all to know that. Now this is going to let you know what we're doing in the future. My friend Joe on uh, My Heap, the channel YouTube channel My Heap, just did a, uh, a review on the Ender Three. 3D printer, and he did a really good job. He sold me. I've I've been wanting to buy a 3D printer for a while. I just didn't know which one I want or what uh, what things were important. And I, I did some research, but I never felt I really knew enough to buy one. Um, Joe gave me enough uh, where I felt like, yeah, I think I can do this now. So I haven't even opened it yet. I've had it a few days now. I got a few other things I want to take care of, uh, but I'm going to try to learn to print. 3D gears, okay? It's uh, I got a few other things in mind, but uh, for this channel, I'm thinking printing 3D gears might be fun. And so, uh, if you don't know anything about it, don't feel lonely. I don't either. So I will try to uh, uh, show you my diary of how I learned. And uh, so that's coming up. But I'm going to be continuing on with the uh, grasshopper clock. And I promise the next video is going to be of the arbor that goes through the main the main uh, spring barrel. And then we'll install the main spring. And then we'll plant the barrel with the ratchet and uh, the winding arbor uh, onto the uh, frame. And uh, then from there, of course, we're going to work up the, uh, the gear train. And we'll, then we'll do the escapement and then the compound pendulum. And I think you'll find that as uh, we progress, it gets more and more interesting, I think, uh, uh, especially when we start to get into the uh, uh, grasshopper escapement and into the compound pendulum. But anyway, for today, let's take go down into the shop, and I'll show you how I made this uh, uh, measuring tool. Uh, it's a really quick process, uh, but I'll be glad to share it with you. As usual, we're starting here at the bandsaw, cutting a piece of brass that we're going to need. Bring it over to the lathe and we'll face it off here. Center drill it. So we're going to drill it all the way through, but we're going to drill it from both ends and meet in the middle. So the drill here, we're just going to put it halfway through. Now we're turning it down to the OD that we want. Now we're just going to add some finger grooves down the end here so that we can hold on to it better. They're kind of decorative, but they're also useful to help slide the barrel out, slide it out once it's inside the barrel. Now we're just making a little mark before we part it off here. I'll use it when I take it up to the watchmaker's lathe. Now we're on the back side. We're center drilling. Now we'll drill and the two drills will meet in the center.
now that they've met, we'll ream it out to the proper diameter. That's about it for this first piece. See if it fits onto the uh, uh, tool steel. There we go. Seems to slide pretty well. Alright, we're ready to start on the second one. Once again, we'll face it off, center drill it, drill it halfway through, turn it down to the OD we want. Add our uh, finger grooves. Mark it again. This second mark didn't come out so good, but we'll fix it. Center drill it. Now we're going to drill through through till they meet. Now on this second piece we have to turn the back side down to the OD. This is where we're going to be uh, using the slitting saw to cut four slits in it. But before we do, there it is, and it slides on good. Before we get to the slitting saw I want to go upstairs and use the watchmaker's lathe. This is my old Mosley. It's over 100 years old. Nice old lathe. It's, uh, it can do everything for me. I really like it a lot. And I like using the graver. And we're just putting a little round on it here. Once again, it's just decorative. And this is that foam back sandpaper that I like just to give it a finishing ring second sides turn the same way same lathe same thing Same foam back paper, just to brighten it up a bit. Now I, for, I did, forgot to turn on the camera, so this is a, a dub over of the slitting saw process, but I think you get the basic idea. And once again, I, I used a, a thread lock there, and I did it and forgot to turn on the camera, so there you go. One side slides, the other one is locked in position with the thread lock. Well, here's the finished tool. And uh, it's nice and tight, slides nice and tight. And how you use it is, you take your mainspring barrel and insert it so that it comes out the other side. And once you've got it in there, now you pull on them until they grab the sides and you pull it out and now we have the inside measurement so we're ready to go to AutoCAD and uh, draw our arbor and uh, that will be our next video we'll be building the arbor I want to thank you all for watching stopping by y'all have a good day thanks now bye